Good day! I am Miss Elizabeth Liz and Rancho for the part number 2 of Statistics and Probability. Our discussion for unit number 1 is Random Variable and Probability Distribution. Since we were done with Random Variable, we will now focus on Probability Distribution. Take note, we will use Scientific Calculator 2 is our solution. But before that, let's know the learning competencies. The learner must construct the probability mass function of a discrete random variable and its corresponding histogram. Next, computes probabilities corresponding to a given random variable. Third, illustrate, calculate, and interpret the mean and variance of a discrete random variable. Lastly, solves problems involving mean and variance of probability distribution. Moving forward, I have here a gambling table in casino, cards, coins, roulette wheel, and dice. Shows the word probability. Next one, I have here paths for delivery, a bell curve or graph, supplying of goods, and sharing among a group shows the word distribution. Adding the two words we have simply showed our topic for today, which is probability distribution. And this will be our definition. Probability distribution is a table, graph, formula, or notation, which supplies the probability of a given outcome's occurrence. It shows the likelihood of an outcome to occur. Probability distribution may represent in this manner. Let x be a discrete random variable and suppose that the possible values that it can assume are given by x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, until x sub n and organized in some order. Suppose that these values are assumed by this notation. Probability of x is equivalent to x sub k. It is also equivalent to the function of x sub k, where k is equivalent to 1, 2, 3, and so on. The probability function is also brought up as probability distribution. Given by this notation, probability of x is equal to x is also equal to function of x. Probability mass function is part of probability distribution. It represents in this manner. Let x be a discrete random variable. Takes the values x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, until x sub n. With each of these values, and we can represent number called the probability p sub i. It's equivalent to probability of x sub i, whereas i is equal to 1, 2, 3, until n. This is called probability of x sub i, satisfying the succeeding condition. The first condition is p sub i must be greater than or equal to 0 for all i. That is, p sub i are all non-negative. Second condition, the summation of p sub i is equal to p sub 1 plus p sub 2 plus plus p sub n is always equal to 1. This function p sub i or the probability x sub i known as the probability mass function of the discrete random x. The set of all possible ordered pairs, x and p of x, identified as the probability distribution of the random variable. So let's have an exercise in order for us to observe and apply what we have defined. The first exercise is, a random variable x has the following probability distribution. The first part is the variable x or the value of x which is equal to 0, 1, 
2, 3, and 4. The probability of x equivalent to the certain value of x are 2a, 3a, 4a, 5a, 6a. We need to determine the following. First, determine the value of a. Next, find the probability of x is equivalent to 2. Third, find the probability of x which is greater than 0 but less than 3. Fourth, find the probability whereas the value of x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 4. Lastly, find the probability of x greater than 3. So let's start. So this will be our solution. The first question is to determine the value of a. Since the probability satisfying this condition is the summation of p sub i is equal to p1 plus p2 plus, plus p sub n is always equal to 1, then we can get the sum of probability of x is equal to x. Therefore, summation of probability of x is equal to x is always equal to 1. Satisfying this, we have 2a plus 3a plus 4a plus 5a plus 6a is always equal to 1. Combining like terms, we will have 20a is equal to 1. Using multiplicative property of equality, multiplying both sides by 1 over 20, the value of a will be equivalent to 1 over 20. Therefore, the value of a is 1 over 20. So, completing the table, since the value of a is equal to 1 over 20, we can substitute the value of a into the table. If the value of x is equal to 0, the probability of x is equal to 0 is 2 over 20 or 1 over 20. If the value of x is equal to 1, the probability of x is equal to 1 is 3 over 20. The value of x is equal to 2, then the probability of x is equal to 2 is 4 over 20 or 1 over 5. Next, the value of x is equal to 3, then we have the probability of x is equal to 3 is 5 over 20 or 1 over 4. Last, value of x is equal to 4, then the probability of x is equal to 4 is equal to 6 over 20 or 3 over 10. Since we complete the table, we can easily answer the following question. The second question is find the probability of x is equal to 2. Since we completed the, completed the table, from the table, the value of the probability of x is equal to 2 is equal to 4 over 20 or 1 fifth. Be reminded that the answer must be in lowest term. So the answer is 1 over 5. Next question is find the probability of x between 0 and 3. What are the numbers between 0 and 3? The numbers from the table between 0 and 3 is 1 and 2. So substituting, we have 3 over 20 and 4 over 20. We just need to add them. Adding them, the answer is 7 over 20. Therefore, the probability that x is between 0 and 3 is 7 over 20. For the fourth question, find the probability x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 4. So from the table, we are going to conclude x is equal to 1, 2, and 3. Substituting if we have 3 over 20 plus 4 over 20 plus 5 over 20, adding them, the answer is 12 over 20. Getting the lowest term, the answer is 3 over 5. Therefore, the probability of x greater than or equal to 1 but less than, the, less than 4 is equal to 3 over 5. The last question is, find the probability that x is greater than 3. What number is greater than 3? In the table, we have 4. Substituting the value 
we have probability of x greater than 3 is equal to 3 over 10. Since we completed the to answer, this will be the summary. For letter A, better than the value of A, A is equal to 1 over 20. Completing the table shows, second, find the probability of x equal to 2, the answer is 1 over 5. Third, find the probability that x is between 0 and 3, the answer is 7 over 20. Fourth, find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 4, the answer is 3 over 5. And last, find the probability that x is greater than 3, the answer is 3 over 10. So let's move to mean and variance of a discrete random variable. In this manner, we can understand. Let x be a discrete random variable which takes the value of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, until x sub n. The mean formula can be denoted into a Greek letter mu is equivalent to the summation of the product of x sub i and probability of x equal to x sub i, whereas i is equal to 1 until n. While to solve for the variance, the formula as follows. Variance is equivalent to the summation of the product of the square of x sub i and probability of x is equal to x sub i, whereas i is equal to 1 under n, deducted to the square of the mean. So, be particular of this formula. We will use this all throughout. For the exercise number one, this will be our question. In tossing a fair coin two times, find the mean and variance. Let x be the possible outcome of head. x will be 0, 1, and 2. While the probability of x equal to x is no head is equivalent to probability 1, 4. Probability of x equal to 1, we have 1 half. Probability of x is equal to 2 is equal to 1 fourth. Solving for the mean, we have the formula which is the product of x summation of x sub i and probability of x equal to x sub i, whereas i is equal to 1 until n. Substituting all the values, we have 0 multiplied by 1 fourth plus 1 multiplied by 1 half plus 2 multiplied by 1 fourth. Let's use PEMDAS in this manner. PEMDAS means parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Since we have scientific calculator, you must type all the values in the calculator. So the answer is 1. The mean is equal to 1. Next, solving for the variance. This will be our formula. The summation of the product of x sub i raised to 2 and the probability of x is equal to x sub i, whereas i is equal to 1 until n, deducted by the square of the mean. From the previous solution, we have mean is equal to 1. Substituting all the values, we have the square of 0 multiplied by 1 fourth plus the square of 1 multiplied by 1 half plus the square of 2 multiplied by 1 fourth. All these values deducted by 1 raised to So using calculator, we arrive at 1.5 minus 1. Simplifying, the variance is equivalent to 0 0.5. Therefore, our mean is equal to 1 and our variance is 0 0.5. Again, thank you for listening. I'm Miss Elizabeth Elise Emerancho, or you may call me Miss Elise Erancho. 
If you have questions, clarification, and recommendations, don't hesitate to comment below. Thank you for watching Math Terrific Learning Materials for Math and Physics.